me and my friends are going to be doing a 24 hour readathon. I haven't done a 24 hour readathon in so long, guys. I always attempt to do them, but I always fail. I tried to do one Saturday, but I failed because 24 hour readathons work best for me when I have a lot of books or like multiple short books to finish because I feel more accomplished rather than trying to read two big books. And I'm like, damn. I'm doing this with Mika. I don't know if Jake and Becca are joining, but they said they would be they said they might so here's my tbr so the first book i'm going to be reading is a book that mina read she talked about it in her recent her june wrap-up and it sounded really really good and also was short so i think that's the book i'm going to start with first and i have it on kindle unlimited and it's guarding temptation by talia hippert and then my physical reading is the ugly duchess which i'll probably pick up after i read the tilia hipper book because this one is shorter i think this could be marriage of convenience i'm this I, this is like a fairy tale retelling of the ugly duckling i believe and what i'm thinking is like there is a princess and she has sisters and she's viewed as uglier than her sisters but guy doesn't want to marry her that's what i'm thinking that's what i'm hoping i think that would be so good um i cut my ow i cut my split ends and I don't know if I want to put my my food is ready. I don't know if I want to put my clip-ins on today or not, but probably not. And then also, I got a new bookshelf today to put on my historical romance bookshelves. My room is messy, so I don't even know if y'all can see what I'm putting in. Oh, the door is open. So yeah, I have a bookshelf back there behind the door. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stack. I'm gonna turn my bookshelves over um this way so there's three cubes each and then i'm gonna stack them and hopefully that works they should but yeah i'm gonna stack my bookshelves and then i'm gonna put my historical romances on there but if that doesn't work i don't know where the heck i'm putting that second that third bookshelf because i don't have enough room for it so okay so i just finished my book book called guardian garden temptation guarding guard i don't give a I don't care what the book was called. I'm gonna give it four stars. I really, really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. So basically, it's about this girl named Nina. So basically, this book is about this girl named Nina and her brother's best friend. They grew up together. So they're kind of like childhood friends, but not really. And they slept together one night and then he like regrets it. And then she's like, oh, you regret it? So then she's mad at him and six weeks later they like they're not talking or whatever but she ends up getting death threats and he's so protective of her he's like you're gonna come and live with me what's well, about like them rekindling that and forgiving her forgiving him and them living together i give it 4.5 out of 5 stars the groveling wasn't enough for me the apology happened really quickly in the book i mean it was only 100 pages so that makes sense i just wish it would have dragged out because i loved seeing her hate him like she had such an attitude towards him and i loved it so much bless you but it's like i don't know i wish it was just a little bit like i wish it was a little bit more but i really did like how like he seen him he regretted it because it was more so of a friendship thing and not because of her brother which her brother wasn't even in the book for real it was just the talk of the brother but it's like he regretted it because of a friendship thing and not because like oh look, i have to respect your brother and stuff like that which i really really liked it was just short and cute so next i'm going to probably pick up this um, i'm going to read a little bit of this my sister ordered food and i'm going to put up my bookshelves later tonight so i'm going to read a little bit of this and then Put up my bookshelves and i want to show you guys the book that i just got i'm actually waiting for my ring light to come in because it was supposed to be here yesterday but it never was amazon let's get it together this book is a lot bigger than i expected um, <laughs> um so i got significantly advanced magic and honestly i don't know what this is about i just remember jess from jess nevertheless talking about this in one of her very very old videos i don't remember what video this is like she was talking about this like earlier this year and i really like the way that she talked about this so i had it on my kindle and it was on kindle unlimited but i realized that i don't read fantasies good on ebooks or anything and it was taking up a lot of my kindle unlimited space because you're only allowed 10 books at a time and i order books like i just put books i want to read on there and then i get to them when i get to them 
but I was like okay let me order this book so I can get this off of my Kindle Unlimited it's like on my Kindle it's not that many well the words are kind of big this is 600 pages y'all I'm really getting into big fantasies now um I haven't been reading a lot but like I'm really getting into big fantasies now and I'm so proud of myself I'm in the middle of like three big fantasies right now but I'm reading some romance so like I like to have romance as like my palette cleanser which is what this vlog basically is is me going between reading being in the middle of like those eight fantasies and then just finishing one like I was like okay I need some romance I need some smut so your girl can feel extra energized when I start them back up okay, okay. so I just got Mika's again that I just book. got when no one no is. literally period but I'm also procrastinating because I keep like getting distracted how do I mute these hoes I just did Anyway, so I just got one. No so I just got one. No one is watching in the mail, and Daniel is currently opening up a package I have. <laughs> um, I did not make him do that. He opened the package himself. He volunteered himself. Take it in. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. But I'm trying to figure out if I want to read this or read this. I think I want to read this tonight, regardless. But I'm gonna start this because it's a romance and it's quick and I can get this done soon. And I know that this is probably gonna take up most of my night. So I'm either gonna start it tonight or tomorrow. But so happy that I got this. Like I totally forgot about, not totally forgot, but like it slipped my mind, which is the is same thing essentially. This, I guess better satisfaction from In and Out than I do Five Guys. In and Out is. In and Out is so good though, so I can't. I've never had In and Out. I was gonna say, you know what? I've never had In and Out. The way I, when I moved to California this year, I'm gonna go huh? fast. From what? When you get yes, stuck moving to California. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait, California. everyone just got so sick. The way I forgot to. California to Florida, which I was gonna say, what happened to Florida? So, yeah, I moved to California. <laughs> she said, so. <laughs> Okay, my brother just put up this bookshelf at the top. Oop, too close. He just put up this one at the top. And so what I did was I laid them down. They look like cubbies. Yeah, they look like cubbies. And I can like fit so many more like historical romances. Like I can stack them up really, really high up here, which I like. But they're only like this right now because these are the ones I just bought. And then these are the ones I already had. So when I do my haul, I won't be confused. And I won't confuse the books. So that's the only reason why I look like this right now. And then once I haul all these, I'll like put them in the right spot. Because these are out of order. Like authors aren't with authors. Yeah, like the authors aren't all together. Like there's some sister there down here. If you're here screaming in the background, I want FaceTime with my friends. And they're playing Roblox with Daniel. So there's Tessa Dare down here, and then there's Tessa Dare up here. But, yeah, and then there's Romance. So, I'm really liking it. And then up here are my classics, because I still don't know what to do with these. But, I'm really loving this right now. And then what I like about these is I can get as many as I want. So, like, when I run out of space for this, I can just get another some and stack it, and stack it, and stack it. I probably will only limit myself up to, like, five, though. So, I have to right now, so I can only get two more. So I'll probably limit myself up to five. Because I don't know if this is sturdy or not, you know. But I'm liking it so far. I feel like the lighting is really weird. Okay. So I just finished. What was I just reading? I just finished. I just finished The Ugly Duchess. And so that was an ugly duckling retelling and it's about this guy who has been has been friends with this really rich duchess and her his dad wants him to marry her because the dad has been spending all their money and she has a lot of money so he's like yo if you go and marry her like i can get our money back and then the son is like no i already know what you're gonna do like you're gonna spend it so the son like takes control and he marries her because they're childhood friends and like he's always adored her and she's always adored him so then she agrees to marry him because she's in love with this other guy and she really wants him but that plot line was like it went away really quickly like it's like they got married and then that plot line went away because they got married because she wanted to make the guy like jealous or whatever and then so the story goes on and then she ends up finding out that why the guy married her but from like the dad's perspective and then 
she kicks them out and he becomes a pirate so when he comes back she's a swan now and he's trying to convince her that he still loves her but it's weird because he's like oh the boy in me still loves you but the man in me doesn't and then also in that same page two lines down she's like oh i haven't slept with anyone since we left but now that i know you were now that i know you don't care then like i can do whatever i want and then he gets like possessive of her so it's like do you care or do you not care and it's like it was cute i gave it four stars it's just like i kind of <laughs> I like the relationship but I didn't care like I wasn't like oh my gosh like, I want a relationship like this like you know it's more of a friends I keep losing the light it's more of like a friend celebrities thing here and that's not my thing like it was cute it was good I still gave it four stars but friends to lovers typically ain't my cup of tea so now I'm going to start when no one is watching by Alyssa Cole and one thing I can say about Alyssa Cole is she really be on her writing these genres like I just read a historical romance by her yesterday and then she's also has like her reluctant royal series like she's just testing out all the genres and i'm so happy to have a domestic thriller with a black main character because i find dom domestic thrillers so interesting i own a lot of them even though i haven't read the majority of them so as soon as i got this arc in the mail i was so happy as soon as i heard about the book i was happy but when i got the arc i was so happy so Yes, I said hi my brother on. Ignore my messy room. Me and my brother put up a lot of stuff. Well, my brother. My brother put up a lot of stuff yesterday. But I am reading when no one is watching. I am 45% through. And I'm actually really, really enjoying the book. If you didn't know what it's about, it's basically about black people. And it's this girl who lives in a neighborhood. And her neighborhood is slowly becoming gingerfied. But she's starting to wonder what's happening to the people who she grew up in that neighborhood with like these people she's known her whole life and like she's never hearing from them again so she's starting to wonder like what are happening to these people and I really like this book because it deals with like a lot of microaggressions and it makes me so frustrated but I feel like when a lot of black not when I feel like when a lot of white people read this book it's just gonna go over their heads like they're not even gonna notice half the things that are microaggressions that actually are microaggressions and they're just not gonna be as frustrated as I am or as another black person would and I'm really really enjoying it the only thing is that it's it's like 350 pages and I'm on page 167 and it's really really slow like it still hasn't gotten to the plot yet and I'm kind of like okay it also deals heavily I don't want to say it deals heavily with romance but like it kind of has like romance in it you can tell but I don't mind because the girl the main character is black and the main guy is white and his girlfriend is one of the people who is microaggressive really really micro not even microaggressive like that's like aggressive aggressive towards black people like there's this one scene where she's at the store and the main character bumps into her and then she's like the main character's like dude can you watch where you're going you just not the main character bumps into her she bumps into the main character which is like a microaggression within itself because you pretend like you don't see black people in that that we you can you can just treat us as however you want and so she was like dude like you just bumped into me and then the girl's like oh my gosh like why are you being so angry like why are you being so aggressive with me right now and the girl's like what and then she like start the white girl starts crying and then the guy the main guy his name is Theo and the main the main the black girl named Sydney the main black girl and then the main white guy his name is Theo and he's like he's just standing there like letting her act how he acted he makes me very frustrated because he is also like i feel like when you don't do anything and you he supports black lives matter but his white neighbors in the neighborhood are all forming this secret group to try to get rid of the black people in the neighbor not get rid of but you know they start this secret group and they talk about how the black people in the neighborhood make them uncomfortable as if it's not their neighborhood and he just doesn't do anything like he's just a bystander and then this black kid think got shot or something like that and he wears a black lives matter shirt and i'm like okay you say black lives matter but when your friends are being racist or microaggressive towards black people you just sit there and let it happen friends are not because they're actually not friends but still when your girlfriend is being racist towards black people you just sit there and roll your eyes and shake your head and they also do a lot of you people and us versus them in this book which i also noticed there's another scene where this they it's this thing called they live in a place called our neighborhood and so they have like social media posts on it and you can like comment and make your own post it's like a community post thing and so he basically states how like he felt uncomfortable because they were kids riding there they were 
like thugs riding their bikes and they thought that they, they, they were gonna rob someone and the mom posted she was like that was my 17 year old son and his two 8 and 11 year old cousins like those were literal kids and it also shows how like black kids are supposed to grow up like black kids aren't seen as young like black kids are like sexualized at a young age even especially black girls but also black kids like i remember watching um when they see us and all those boys were a trial and they were like 14 8 all like underage yeah they did something sexually to that girl and they were they were like they were underage like they don't even know what sex is like how could they do that but if it was a white kid who was accused of that first of all it wouldn't happen but if it was they wouldn't have it wouldn't have been accused of sexually assaulting that woman it would have been something else and i just it's just really upsetting to me how black people black kids are seen as grown from a young age or like like i seen this post and it was like if a black girl were to wear a certain hairstyle if she were to just wear her hair straight it would be seen as grown and then if a white girl were to do it it's cute it's cute hairstyles for kids you know so it's like these kids are like 8 11 and 17 and they're seen as thugs and it's like these are little kids like what do they know about being thugs you know and it just shows how like people view us and i just really i'm really enjoying the book and daniel's here and i'm really enjoying the book also i'm gonna give myself some more time on the clock um i slept for 10 hours so i think i deserve it okay so i'm just gonna do it until whenever i fall asleep tomorrow i mean tonight because i have to go to work saturday as well so i'm probably gonna go to sleep around four so i'm probably gonna do until four so i have to go to i have to get ready for work in about 15 minutes well i am getting ready for work but i have to like call an uber in about 15 minutes so i can do like a little bit 15 minutes worth of reading now and then waiting for my uber and then when i get to work and i wait and then I'm going to listen to an audiobook while I get to work. So I'll probably listen to The City of Brass and hopefully finish that. I hate when I'm like, oh, I didn't, I only read this amount of books. And people are like, oh my gosh, like, and people are like, oh my gosh, like, that's still a lot. Like, I can't even read that much in however time. Like, okay, that's fine. But for me, I read a lot. I love reading. Not saying you don't love reading, but I love reading. I read every single moment. There isn't a day that I'm not reading because reading is the only hobby that I have. And it's the only thing that brings me joy. And so... I'm always reading and I love reading a lot I want to read 30 books this month I love saying that I read a lot it doesn't bring pressure on myself I'm not doing anything else I literally work max four times a week four hours a day I don't get that many hours of work I can always be reading so it's not putting pressure on myself it's just making sure that I read enough and it, it just gets so annoying when people are like oh I haven't read that much like okay I I, I want to read that much like yeah I don't feel I'm not down on myself when I don't read a lot but it's like dang I know I could have done better but it's also I was taking them like you know I, I know I was taking a break like I'm not hard on myself I'm not the kind of person that's hard on myself like if I like with if I notice that I'm too stressed I'm not gonna force myself to do something just to be like hard on myself I don't put stress on myself so I like to read a lot and I know I can do better and it's not me being hard on myself that's just me saying I know I can do it. Are you filming a video? Yes. Yeah. What are these? <laughs> Better roll books. I got this one because I really like the cover. It does not have a step back, so that's depressing. And it has a sticker on the top, so that's also depressing. But I really like this cover. And then I got this Devil's Prize. Also, it does not have a step back. If I get one more book that's not a step back, I'm just gonna jump off a building. Oh, but I don't even know why I ordered this. But I think I just like the title, to be honest. But yeah i'm gonna go in this clip so i can get ready for work and do some reading before okay so it is 12 a.m and i've read city of brass i already put the book up i'm not gonna get it sorry i'm lazy i'm trying to find good light i'm always trying to find good light i read city of brass and i finished it i gave it three out of five stars it's like it was good but at first i was really invested in the characters and then i kind of started to get bored and i felt like the fantasy is just like typically every other fantasy with an adventure and it just it didn't present to me anything new it didn't bring anything new to the table you know so it's like I was really really loving it at first when I when I started because I, I was already 50% through before the readathon so this is something at work and um I finished it when I got home and I took a little break and now I'm about to start reading again I was gonna try to read five books but unless I read a graphic novel I don't see five books in my future and I also want to go to sleep again tonight because I want to wake up early enough to start a new book tomorrow and i don't want to sleep for 10 hours 
it was like an okay it wasn't a bad book it was really good but the characters i stopped caring about the characters like i don't care about ali i don't care about dara i like nahira but like i said i just the more i read the book the more i read the book the more less interested i became and even when i was first reading the book like when i got when I had started, because I read 50% all within like the same day, like one sitting basically. And so when I read it, it was like good, but I was starting to get bored. And that's why I stopped it because I got started doing something else. And then I picked the book up. So I don't know. It just, it was good, but it wasn't like the most amazing thing I've ever read. And I mean, it's okay. Like three stars is not okay. Like I didn't hate the book. I don't think it's the worst thing ever. I am going to continue on with the series. I think Tahira ended up saying the same, like she read it the book three stars. So I am going to finish, I am going to read Kingdom of Copper and Empire of Gold when they both come in. They should be here like next Friday I think. So yeah. So now I'm going to finish when no one is watching. And I'm really really loving this book guys. Like this, I'm really loving it. I can see myself giving this like a 4.5 or 5 stars. I don't know. But I'll let you guys know when I finish it. Okay, so I just finished When No One Is Watching and I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. It was so good. Like, the plot twist at the end I thought was really, really good. Like, first of all, I never rate thrillers 5 stars. This was the first thriller I've ever rated 5 stars. The second thriller I've ever enjoyed, the first, the, yeah, the second thriller I've ever enjoyed, the first one I've ever gave 5 out of 5 stars. Like, it was so good like Alyssa Cole needs to write more thrillers I really liked it because it's something that I could actually be scared of like with most thrillers that I read I'm like oh this was like you know how people like there are some people who just have like the most crazy and outrageous things happen to them like that's something like oh like this was like some crazy type of stuff but then like are you re mouthing what I say oh <laughs> but then like with this like this is stuff that does happen like this is stuff that can happen like you know and that's scary to me because as a black woman like as a black person gentrification happens luckily you know like gentrification like literally happens like i see it happen in detroit all the time like even the plot twist at the end the plot twist at the end was so good i guess one of the plot twists in the book obviously i'm not gonna spoil it people are so like whenever i talk about a book people at me like don't spoil it like obviously i'm not gonna spoil it so before anybody's like oh my gosh i hope she doesn't spoil it i'm not going to but I'm not going to try to read anything else because it is like literally 327. But I really, really enjoyed this. Like it was so good. It was such a page turner. Like I enjoyed the characters. I really liked Sydney. And maybe it's because she talked in AAVE. But a lot of main characters in thrillers, they're really like bland and they have no personality and are useless. But she did have personality. And it could have been because she just talks. Like she talks how I talk. Like it was like talking to a friend. Like I don't know. I really liked it because... You know, I talk about me code switching all the time and on my channel, like, I try not to code switch as much because I know people don't care, but it's just, like, it's just a natural thing for me. But then when I talk to the unfriendly black hotties, it's like, I can be myself, I can talk while I talk, I can use whatever phrases I want. And so reading a book, let alone a thriller, where the character looks like me and talks like me and says things that I say, like, there was this one point when she was explaining something. Sorry, I'm on FaceTime with my friends. There was, like, this one part in the book where she's, like, she says something before she talks, she's like, okay, boom. And like that's how I talk, you know, or she'll be like, my guy, or like, that's New York, that's like New York phrase though, like, that's like, she speaks more, more New York AAVE, but like, I just really, I enjoy so much about it. I like Theo, he was so pathetic and a loser, that's how I like my white man, you know, um, <laughs> the way my brother is looking at me, but I really like them, I like them together. I liked, I just liked so much about this book, like every aspect of it. And this is the best thriller I've read, and I don't think any thriller could ever top this. Like, Alyssa Cole, if you are watching this, please write some more thrillers. Like, I could see Alyssa Cole being the Jordan Peele of the thriller world. Everyone compares this to Get Out, which, I mean, I haven't seen the full movie. Like, I've seen, I've basically seen the full movie. Like, I've seen, thank you, Daniel. Thank you. I've seen, like, I basically like I've seen like clips of the whole movie but never the movie together and like I feel like they could be like I really like how Jordan Jordan Peele takes like aspects from like the things that happen to black people and like makes it horror and that's exactly what this is and I want to see more thrillers like that like taking aspects of black people and things that are scary and then turning them into thrillers obviously written by black people you know because I want to read AAVE written by an actual black person and not a white person trying to mimic what they think black people act like. 
<laughs> not my brother laughing but it was so good it was so amazing and I've, I, I read four books so at one point I didn't even think I could accomplish that so I'm not gonna pressure myself to read any more than four books but I really enjoyed when no one is watching so I'm actually really proud of myself and yeah thank you for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Then you can turn the Bye. camera off. If you want. How did I get my